How many times does this happen to you? Yeah. Let's try and fix this. So you've spent countless hours preparing for your video, recording that video, editing that video, you hit render, you have to wait anywhere between half an hour to like three hours to render that video, and maybe even halfway through, it fails. It's one of the most frustrating things, right? So I'm gonna show you how to work around those pesky GPU errors, and if your system has more balls than mine, I'm still gonna show you how to speed up the rendering process, so yeah. Let's do that. DaVinci Resolve is an amazing piece of software, but just like anything else that's complex, it's not without its flaws. I love it. Sometimes these errors can get super frustrating. Like, <laughs> so many hours with failed renders and having the application crash. One of the biggest issues with DaVinci Resolve is that it kind of has poor memory management for systems that have a low amount of memory. This system has 32 gigabytes of RAM, and for the GPU, it's the GTX 1650 with four gigabytes of video RAM, which kind of has a habit of filling up with the amount of color grading and effects that I add to my videos. In the meantime though, there's two different fixes for this particular situation. The first one I call the Frankenstein method, which uses a program called FFmpeg or FFmpeg, as I like to call it, because it just, it sounds better. Fafumpeg, fafumpeg, fafumpeg. It could, you could seriously turn it into like a rave. Fafumpeg, 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 fafumpeg. So unfortunately this software is a little bit more involved. You can download it for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, which is pretty awesome. It was actually originally built for Linux. And then they ended up porting it over to Windows. The cool thing is that it's really lightweight and it's fast, and not only that, you can trim and convert your videos without having to go through the render process all over again, which is something that I feel like DaVinci Resolve kind of struggles with. Like if I'm halfway through a render and it fails and I want to pick up where I left off, I can't. However, FFmpeg is something that I'm going to cover in a future video. In this video, I'm going to cover option number two, which has to deal with render cache and, you know, it's easier to explain. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's do it. So first thing you wanna do is come down here to this little cog, click it, and then on the master settings page, you're gonna scroll down. This is gonna deal with your optimized media and render cache. Now, you can have it choose it automatically, which is exactly what I'm doing here. By default, it is gonna be DNxHR, HQX. Can I buy a vowel, please? If you're just trying to go through your edits really quickly and you want to render the colors and all that, you can drop it down to a lesser quality, something like HQ or LB. HQ is going to be sufficient for a 1080p video if you're going to be rendering out. I like to keep it at HQX. I always like to keep the highest quality video, even though I probably don't need to with Canon M50 footage. Like, I'm an overachiever. But for now, we're gonna keep it at the default because then I don't have to worry about it. But if you want the cache to render quicker, you wanna select a lower quality format. It's just, if you're gonna be exporting using the render cache, then you're gonna want to probably maintain the higher quality. So another thing that you might wanna do, depending on your system, is to use optimized media. Optimized media takes all of the footage that you have and it converts it into a format that is DaVinci Resolve friendly that it can just access super quickly. So if you have really complicated 12-bit footage, this is something that's totally gonna help, especially on this system here. The Canon M50 has 8-bit footage, so it's not really something that I need to use, but it's still useful to have. Keep in mind, optimized media is something that will take up a significant amount of storage space. Like a 10 gigabyte video could take up hundreds of gigabytes of hard drive space. It's something to keep in mind and you definitely want to make sure that once you're done with your video that you do end up deleting your optimized media. Now the way that you would do that, there's two different ways. You can do it here in the timeline or you can go into your media pool and you can select your particular clips. And then when you select your clips, you're just going to right click on it and say generate optimized media. And then you also want to make sure that use optimized media if available is checked off. Once you're done, click delete optimized media. It's going to wipe all of that off your hard drive and then you're going to have more free space. 
caching still isn't going on, at least not automatically. One thing that you want to do is come up here to playback and go to render cache and then go to smart or user. There are differences between the two. If you do select user, then you're going to want to individually select clips, right click on them and select either render color output or with fusion if you're doing any fusion work. You're going to want to do that for any clip that you individually choose to render. The other option is to use smart mode, which is my preferred method. So it pretty much renders everything that's going to be visible in the video. And immediately you're going to notice that it starts to cache here. The blue means that it's cached. The red means that it hasn't cached yet. Now, depending on the amount of work that you've put into this, it's going to take longer in certain circumstances. Like for me, I'm using noise reduction, which immediately like doubles the amount of time that it takes to render the cache. The other thing that is going to take into consideration is on your color page, how many different nodes that you have. I have a fairly complex node structure for this, which you can kind of see here. Now, once all of this has rendered out, your playback's going to be a lot more smoother when you're going through your video and you're editing. So this is something that I like to do as I go along, but typically doesn't take effect until I do the coloring anyways. Otherwise, if you've done a lot of different effects or a lot of different coloring and you're not using render cache, then you're going to notice that you're going to drop a lot of frames. If at any point during this process, you get a pop up where DaVinci Resolve is bitching about the GPU being out of memory. At that point, what you're going to want to do is save, exit out of DaVinci Resolve, load back into DaVinci Resolve, and then let it continue rendering. This is really where at that point, it's going to be important to make sure that you review all of your footage and you go through it to make sure that all of your frames look good, that you don't have any weird green looking frames or that it's not like all noisy and staticky in certain parts. So if there are any bad frames or anything like that, you're going to want to wait for the entire video to finish rendering just to make this process a little bit easier. Once it's done with that, you can actually select the clips where that's happening, go to playback, go to delete render cache and go to selected clips. It's going to delete the cache for that individual clip and then it's going to re-render it. So hopefully it'll be better. Sometimes if you have a transition between two different clips, it'll mess up both clips, but it'll still give you an error on that. The way around that is to delete the transition, delete the cache for those selected clips. And then once those clips have rendered, you're going to add the transition back and then let that cache as well. And that'll help you work around that particular error because otherwise you're going to be cursing the computer, being frustrated. It's going to take you hours trying to figure out what's going on. You don't know what's going on because obviously like this DaVinci Resolve is being a little bitch and it's not going to tell you what error 219 or 209 is. You're going to try and look it up in the manual, but you're going to find that it's not actually in the manual. And when you try and Google it, it's not there either. Cool, so all the cache is rendered at this point. What we're gonna do is head over to the delivery page. So on the delivery page, I'm gonna select my failed render here. I'm gonna click the pencil to edit it. Now, if you haven't already started to render your video, then you're just gonna create a new job for this. Scroll down here and select the advanced settings and make sure that you check use optimized media and use render cache images. And then just hit update job. Now, because I've tried to render this out previously, I'm going to hit replace and then we're going to start render. All right. So the first one failed after going 69% in 45 minutes. This one finished in 15 minutes without any errors. Now, one thing that you can do to help you save time is to set a preset for this. This is something that I already covered in my time saving hacks for video editing series for the delivery presets video. I'm going to leave a link up here so you can check it out. So overall, it's not a super complicated process. I'm actually really frustrated that it took me so long to figure this out. It was something that I always tried to avoid because, you know, I just assumed that it was going to be a lesser quality. And then I realized that I'm saving a lot of time by having DaVinci Resolve do all of the heavy lifting beforehand. At the end, all it has to do is just throw it all together and it takes like a fraction of the time. So yeah. I have more time to do other things. This is great. Boom. I really do hope that you found this valuable. Is this something that you're already using? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you got value out of this, of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm coming out with videos all the time. And until next time, I'll catch you later. 
Go away now. Just kidding. Check out some of my other videos.